Hey, good morning everybody. This is Lisa Hill and I'm here with Patrick Lewis for Mortgage Mondays and we're going to talk a little bit about credit scores today. In the past we the past couple of weeks we talked about, you know, you maybe you didn't think you could buy. You might be one of the 22% out there that you don't know that you can buy. And then the last time we talked a little bit about the different um, products and things that could help you buy. Mm -hmm. Today, we're just going to touch base a little bit about do you know your credit score? So at that, I'm going to turn it over to you, Patrick. Great. Thank you very much. Absolutely. But well, last week we touched on, last time we touched on um, the down payment, how to get a down payment. Maybe you don't need as much as you thought and so mm -hmm. forth, which is one of the reasons why people think they can't buy, but, but, but they possibly can. So today we talked about maybe talking about the credit score situation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people out there think you need a really high credit score to buy. Uh, what is high and what is low? I mean, some people just can't relate um, uh, what a good credit score is to a certain product. So um, the big difference is there's a myth out there, maybe online, maybe somewhere else, 22% of the people actually might think this is, um, you know, you need a 750, 760, 770, high 700s credit scores, um, being that anywhere above 750 to 800 is really, really high. Um, there's a moderate pocket between 680 and, and 640, and then below that is perceived to be bad. So mm -hmm. we'll just kind of set the record straight on that. Really low pro products, um, some of them you can go as low as 580. Now that would depend on um, mm -hmm. different, different situations with the credit explanations and so forth. Guidelines do state that on an FHA loan you can go down to a 580, whether you can get it approved or not. That is another thing that we try to work on. But you really, really don't need to go into the high 700s. You really can get down to the to the low mid, mid to low 600s, maybe 640, 620. It just depends on uh, the situation. Now, on a, um, I know that I've seen most of the lower credit scores. They go FHA. Can you get a conventional loan with a lower credit score? That's a good question. Um, it's kind of a loaded question, so there's no yes or no answer. Um, um, just depending on some people have low credit scores, but the credit really may not even be that bad. Maybe their credit score is low, but they have high assets and they have some other factors that compensate for that, okay. that the automated underwriting system will recognize uh, and maybe give an approval. Maybe they'll give an approval and they want payment reserves. Right. So that's another thing to counteract or a compensating factor, we call it, for low credit. So a lot of times people come in and think they're, maybe their credit's not as bad as they think. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it may be lower than they like, but there's little things we can do to to kind of give them some advice on how to increase a credit score to a quick 20 or 30 points just by adjusting balances, paying down some balance and so forth. So um, just because your credit score is low doesn't mean you can't buy a house. Right. I know that um, you have helped a couple of my people and it just, you know, it, and it wouldn't, it doesn't really take that long to adjust the credit and get it a little higher than, you know, to, the, you you did that with a couple of my right. people right. where they you know their credit score was just a little lower and then you came in and you told them what to do and it increased and and then they even get better interest rates and things like that is that correct that's correct so not yeah. only just getting the score high enough to being over maybe the minimum required for the loan program but it could be beneficial to get a higher just so you can get um, there are tiers of credit scores mm -hmm. and loan to values um, cutoffs to where maybe you can get a better interest rate. So we do take a look at those things. Mm -hmm. Most of the time what we do is we work with people that maybe it's a little lower than they like or lower, a little bit under the minimum, but we can do some, like I said. A lot of it has to do with just paying down um, revolving balances on the credit cards. Right. And a certain amount. I have, we have simulators. I'm sure other lenders have simulators. We can throw in a simulation on, you know, what can we do to get the score to X and, and that will, the simulator will tell us what uh, what needs to be paid down per credit card and so forth. So there is some strategy involved on uh, getting your credit score up to the minimum and maybe getting loans approved with a lower score, but um, pointing out the compensating factors and so forth. Right. Um, now, I know that we talked, I, I believe it was the week before last, about down payment assistance. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone has a lower credit score, does that affect their ability to get the down payment yeah. assistance? So the down payment assistance um, for Florida housing requires a 640 credit score. So oftentimes we'll see people come in at 625 or mm -hmm. the annoying 637 
Mm. Three points just <laughs> below the minimum. Yeah. Uh, and that's a pretty easy fix as long as they have credit cards. Right. Revolving debt, credit card debt is the easiest to, um, uh, is the is really the one way you can increase your credit score by paying down balances. It's harder on installment loans and student loans where that are fixed payments that can't really be changed whether you pay down balances or not. Credit cards are that way um, and the credit scoring system gives you credit or deducts credit depending on what your credit lines are. So the closer you are to maxing your credit cards, um, the more it's going to hurt your score. So if we can keep that in check and give some advice maybe on, on what to do to get those down a little bit, you might be able to increase your score. And we do we do that a lot. And and that would be something that could just be like a monthly. You might be able to pay it down in a month and then the next month your credit score would increase. Is yes. that the way that works? Well, if we identify someone has a lower, let's just say the credit score minimum is a 640 on a loan program and we see a 630. Um, running, a, you know, when I see on my credit, um, I see certain amount of points next to those credit scores of an increase, uh, what it could get to in a 30-day period, um, and so we run the simulator to see what that is. So we've done it as quick as a week. Okay. You know, so someone brings in, says, "We need you to do this." They go out, they pay some balances down, then give us their updated statement showing that balance, and we send it to our credit company, and that credit company verifies that with the three credit repositories. And then runs us a, a new scenario, a rescore. So it's a rapid rescore, is what we call okay. it. Okay. And it can be quick. I mean, it just depends on how fast you can uh, pay the pay the debt down, and how fast the creditor can um, you know, register that payment, right. and how quick it gets to the agency. So between us, my team, and the credit uh, credit company, we usually have a lot of success with that. That's awesome. Well, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that, because um, I get phone calls every day of people saying, well, my credit score is not all that great. And quite honestly, you don't, um, you shouldn't pay attention to like the credit karmas and, and that because they're not, I mean, it's probably a good guideline for you. Exactly. However, when a mortgage person scores you, they do it differently. Am I correct? Your, your mm -hmm. score is going to be a little different than it is what it is on Credit Karma. Right, so that's a great point. So the credit uh, score monitoring, your credit monitoring uh, organizations like Credit Karma um, are out there. They are a business, mm -hmm. okay? Um, they do report your credit score, but it's often different than the ones that I pull. So I don't know exactly what their system is, mm -hmm. but a lot of their... Um, advice and a lot of their scoring and so forth aren't necessarily catered to buying a home. Mm -hmm. um, same with credit repair companies. You got to watch out for credit repair companies if you're going to work with them. Some are okay. If you're going to work with them, look at reviews and look at their success rates because most credit repair companies say they can re raise your credit score. Yes, yes, they can do it, but the way that they do it to manipulate the credit scores aren't conducive to mortgage guidelines. Mm. In other words, they dispute a lot of accounts. When you dispute accounts, it covers what the credit scoring sees, so it immediately increase, it can immediately increase your score. That's an example. Mm -hmm. um, but in more, the mortgage world, we have to get those disputes removed to get an accurate score. So not all those companies and all those, all those agencies are 100% um, are correct on the scoring. We pull directly from three, the three bureaus Mm -hmm. And it's the score is the score. So mm -hmm. that's a good point. You need to watch out for that. It's a good guide. And I think those are great to have so you know if there are inquiries. Right. Credit companies pulling your credit and so forth. You should know that immediately. So um, those are good for that and to get a good gauge. You know, your Capital One app on your credit card will give you a score. Right. That may be one of the three bureaus. Mm -hmm. uh, not all the three scores which we which we use to represent the mortgage. Right. Um, you know, there's other, your banks have, have software and so forth that can give you your credit score. So if you see one score, it's usually, it, it's one of the three that we use um, to, to, to score for and use for credit for mortgages. That's awesome. I think I saw something the other day, and I'm gonna, I'll have to research this before we talk about it, but it was something that the three bureaus are going to start excluding from the credit scoring. Um, and I can't remember what it was. I'll, I'll think of it, and I'll get with Patrick, and we'll... There, there's, there are, there's, there's a lot of updates. Um, uh, student loans is another way uh, credit scoring can impact your credit scoring. The way we look at student loans has changed mm -hmm. um, on qualifying, actually for the better, for the easier on conventional loans. Um, you know, like I said, the, the credit scoring really comes down to installment revolving debt. Revolving debt 
in my experience, is the best way to change your credit score. So all those things do have a factor, and you might want to consult, you know, um, um, your mortgage person mm -hmm. uh, on the latest and greatest what's going on because your credit may not be as bad as you think, and that's the point. Well, and we're going to be doing um, a home buyer seminar here probably. I think we're going to shoot for the end of August, kind of towards the end of summer. And Patrick will be there to, to talk about, because I know there's a lot of you out there that don't, don't think that you can buy, but you're not 100% sure. And so um, we will keep you updated as to when we do this, um, this mm -hmm. seminar. And if you have any questions or if you think that, you know, well, maybe I do want to buy. Maybe I can buy. Give us a call. Right. You can reach me anytime um, off of Facebook or, you know, my cell is 407-924-9393. And we'll sit down and have a consultation. And right. we'll get Patrick in and we can sit down and just go over your, your, you know, your stuff and we'll figure it out. And this is the guy that will end up making the, the biggest decision for you because he's going to tell me what we need to do to find you the right house yeah, it's all part of mortgage planning so it doesn't cost anything uh, and whether you can buy now or not you know it's good to have a plan in place Absolutely. because oftentimes people maybe can't get to where we need them to get to credit score wise but we can put a plan in place and they can follow that plan mm -hmm. um, you know just a goal yeah you know I'm not a, I'm not a credit counselor right but just a goal on um, keeping keeping your balances low uh, per the simulator. Maybe some people don't have money yet to pay it down. Right. But we make a plan and, and, and usually it's a six month plan to pay it down or sometimes you need to open another account to get, to, to, increase, to get better credit, to increase your score if you, if you have a lack of credit. There's a lot of things that go into it. So maybe in the next coming weeks too, you know, but we talked about, um, you know, 22% of renters have the ability to buy but don't know it. And what do those 22 represent? Um, some of these myths out there, which is uh, myths about down payment, which we talked about a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Today we talked about the credit. It may not be as bad as you think. Uh, sc scores may not have to be as good as you think. So right. you know, consulting people like us can help. Right. And maybe in the future weeks we can talk about the, the employment situation. There might be mm -hmm. some myths about employment Absolutely. and even bankruptcies and foreclosures and how that plays into um, not just credit scoring. Uh, it does take quite a bit of time to recover from that credit scoring wise, but maybe not as much time as you think to be able to get into another house. Absolutely. So we can, we can probably touch on those areas and try to debunk myths as we go. Um, so we can, we can, maybe you can buy and you don't know it. And that's what our, what's, that's, what our, what's what our focus this summer is. That's it. And you know, and you can, you can contact either one of us and we'll sit down and have a consultation with you. And um, we'll also keep you updated on when we do our seminars because that will be full of information for you also. So give us a chat sometime. Let yeah. us ask your questions. If you have any mortgage questions, get, let us know what they are and we'll be happy to address them on mm -hmm. our future shows mm -hmm. um, because you got the expert right here. And I know a bunch of you asked me, what is the first step to buying a house? That's him. <laughs> You gotta so, <laughs> know if you qualify before you start looking. We don't. You don't want to. You don't want to get dead set on something maybe you can't afford or, or maybe you don't want to psych yourself out and think you can't buy. You know. So, you know, just you may. You may. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Yeah. So anyway, okay, guys. This is Lisa Hill and Patrick Lewis, and this was Mortgage Monday. Look for us again next week. I think we'll have another exciting topic. Always. We always have exciting topics. And shoot us some, some ideas if it, you want a topic too. Yeah, Anything absolutely. We'll just, be happy to answer all your questions yeah. or, you know, like I said, if you need a consultation or whatever, we'll be happy to sit with you. So anyway, you guys have a great 4th of July holiday. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Do all that fun stuff. Don't mess with fireworks if you've been drinking. And just have a great or safe Or if you haven't week. been drinking. What did I say? You said, you said, don't play with fireworks when you've been drinking. I said, even if you're not drinking, don't play with fireworks. Okay. Be responsible. <laughs> so you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.